In this video, I will show you how to find background sources that relate to your social welfare policy analysis. These resources are great when you're trying to refine your topic and maybe just get some general understanding of the scope of what's out there on the topic that you've chosen. For this project, I'm going to direct you to a library research guide that I've created for social work. So to access this guide, you are at guides.library.appstate.edu slash social work. Here I've compiled many different library and web resources that relate to social work. So for this video, I want to talk about background sources. So we're going to find those listed under reference sources. So in this tab, I've listed some online reference sources as well as print reference sources. These are things like handbooks and encyclopedias that give you an overview of a topic, are great for background, are great for helping you to understand um, the topic that you're thinking about if you need to refine your topic um, or create a more detailed research question um, for your project. So here are a number of sources and I want to go through a couple of them to show you how you might use them. So the Encyclopedia of Social Work is a great resource. We have it in print if you want to come into the library and use it in print. And we also have it online. It actually makes it really searchable when you use the online version. So let's go into the Encyclopedia of Social Work. Here you come to the library record. It's clear that this is the electronic resource. When you come to a library record like this for an electronic resource, look for some sort of a link or a listing like here. It says online access. So you can click and get into this e-resource. Now this encyclopedia is actually part of a larger database called Oxford Reference. So if you search the search box up here, it actually would search everything in Oxford Reference. We want to just specifically search in the Encyclopedia of Social Work. So if I look down below here, it gives me a search box where I can search within this particular encyclopedia. So here's where I want to put in my topic. So if I'm interested in the foster care system, I might search for foster care and run a search within this encyclopedia. Notice I get a number of entries and I may be able to limit my topic on the left hand side if you come up with too many um, results. But the first result is a broad um, reference on specifically foster care. So that one sounds good. I'm going to click on that. And here I get an overview about foster care. So notice on the left it gives me a list of the topics that are here in this section. I might want to jump just to one of these. Um, for example, if I was interested in the size of the foster care population, I could jump to those. But they're also listed here that I could scroll through them. So there's a wonderful list of different um, subtopics within this. Historical milestones, policy framework, here are specific policies. This might give me some wonderful ideas of how I can focus my policy analysis. I can use this information. Um, directly or I might get ideas that I can then use and search for articles within the library's databases as well. I'm going to go back to the guide again and show you some other sources. Think about your topic and one of these resources might be a more specific choice for you. So for example a handbook of families in poverty might fit your topic and might be a better resource. There are some other broad social work handbooks. For example, the SAGE handbook is a good one if you're interested in school social work. So look at the titles of these and maybe choose one that fits your topic a little bit better. Here's an example. Here's one that's social work practice and the law. So if I click on that one, We'll notice that this is actually a little bit different. It's not a searchable encyclopedia or handbook. It's actually an ebook. Again, it's a really great resource, but we're just going to access it a little bit differently. So, my tip for using ebooks as well as print books 
is to look at the table of contents. Typically, I will see if there's a chapter in one of these resources that fits my topic a little bit better. So I might just click and go directly into a chapter. So again, I use that in ebooks as well as print books. For the ebooks, to access them, look on the left hand side and it will give you a number of options for accessing this. You can use the PDF full text and read it right on your screen. You could do an EPUB or you have an option of downloading. Every ebook is different depending on what vendor it comes from. So it will give you specific information of how much of it you can download. Typically can only download a portion of it. It won't let you download the entire book, which would then allow you to save that on your own computer. So you can actually just go to the PDF full text, jump right to the chapter that you might be interested in. So whether you're doing a searchable online resource like the encyclopedia or looking at ebooks, um, view ones that relate to your topic and look at the table of contents or search with a search term that will help to limit to your topic.